All right, so I wanted to do another video about my Doom configuration, and despite what people on Reddit and people in the comments were saying, I never actually presented this as a superior configuration in any capacity. I pretty much just presented it as an alternative and provided some proof of concept. That was about it. But as I tried to progress through the game on Nightmare with the Steam controller, the limitations of the configuration actually really started to present themselves, so I made some modifications. I returned a lot of the horizontal axis back to the gyro. So now it pretty much just functions like a normal gyro, like in any other use case. And I returned a little bit of the vertical axis to the trackpad, and that is pretty much for the sole purpose of accommodating my muscle memory, because I'm still used to swiping up and down, and I do do that while I'm looking with the gyro. Um, I don't even think this is necessary. You could probably just straight up remove the, uh, the vertical axis and everything would be fine. But I find it a little bit helpful personally just to have a little bit of play up and down and it doesn't affect the horizontal swipes too much. So that's fine. The other thing that I changed was to address an inherent problem with using the touchpad and the gyro at the same time. There is an inherent issue that maybe people have run into, maybe they haven't, but this is the problem, right? If you go to the gyro, it's set to always on, right? And pe people normally have it set to uh, right trackpad touch. But the problem with this is that if you're using trackball and you're swiping, the time that your, hand, that your thumb is off of the trackpad and the camera's still moving when you're using trackball, you, you cannot use the gyro. The gyro does not work during that time. So in Twitch style shooters like Doom, where you, 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 know, you really have to make quick and precise movements, you may be entirely used to the trackpad and the trackball with your configuration, everything's fine with it, but the second you try to swipe and use the gyro, you're gonna get screwed, right? Usually having it for uh, right pad touch is perfectly fine in most use cases, but just not for this one, not for this particular game. So I have it set to always on but always on has its own inherent problems. For example, if I was in the game and I went into the menu or if I was during, you know, in a glory kill or in a cutscene and I did not have control over my camera and I moved the actual controller in my hands or my, or my controller was not in the same position it was in when I entered the glory kill or the menu or the cutscene or whatever, when I regain control of my camera, if my controller's in a different position, my gyro will be screwed up and that is a little bit of a problem. But I did come up with a workaround for it. So I have the gyro um, set to off for this other action set. I have another action set called gyro reset, and it turns the gyro completely off. You can't really see it with my camera right there, but it turns the gyro completely off. The way I have it configured, the way it's comfortable for me is I have the right pad click, set to activate the other action set, the gyro reset action set. So it, it is a start press. So when I click it, the other action set is enabled. And I go into the other action set here. And what I did was I have the activation type set to release press. So when I let go with the trackpad, it'll switch back to the default action set. So basically what this allows me to do is kill the gyro whenever I want so that I can reset my camera. If I ever find that the, ca that the gyro is really screwed up, I just click, find the horizon line again, sit comfortably, get relaxed, and then let go. And then the gyro will be 100% back to the way I like it. So let's go back into the game and I'll just show you. So I'm looking around the horizon line, everything's fine. I'm using my gyro, everything's fine. But say I go into the menu and then I move my controller and it's just sitting at an awkward angle. Let's just say like this for the sake of argument. And then I go back to my resting position, my default position. Oh wow, my gyro's really, really screwed up. I'm looking at the sky, that's no good. What you do is that you just find the horizon line, click the right trackpad, relax, return to your resting default position, and then your gyro's fine again. And this is the only workaround that I can think for this particular problem. So I can use the gyro while I'm using the trackball and I, my right thumb does not need to be on the pad itself, but I can still reset 
the gyro whenever I want. So if my gyro screwed up, look at the horizon line, get comfortable, let go, everything's fine. And once you get used to it, you can actually pretty much just do this on the fly in combat. And once you get used to the muscle memory, everything's cool. I wish there was a better way to do it, like perhaps having it so as long as the trackball was doing something, the gyro would still be engaged. That would be really cool. But for now, this is probably the best way to go about fixing this particular problem. That's all I really wanted to show you.